always achy after overhead press day. Don't want to give up overhead pressing because you know it's the only way to get those bolder shoulders. Well, the good news is there's a better way. And I'll show you how with an exercise alternative for the shoulder press that will allow you to keep making those gains without causing pain. So stay tuned. One thing that's important is to take care of that shoulder problem. These guys take so much abuse and we need to show them some love, especially if you're experiencing problems. Click the link below to get my go-to mobility tools that includes the best shoulder exercise you can do to start making improvements on that shoulder. It's free, so check it out below and take care of those guys. Okay guys, you guys ready to dive in? Hey guys, Coach Matt Pippen here, and over the last 15 years, I've helped over a thousand professional, collegiate, and everyday athletes move, feel, and perform at their highest level. And today, I'm going to let you have your cake and eat it too by showing you how to do landmine shoulder presses that allow you to keep training the overhead press, but in the range that's safe for you. Now, if you're like me, you love overhead pressing. There's something awesome about being in the gym, you got a whole lot of weight on the bar, and you're pressing that bad boy over your head. It's just something awesome about it. However, if you don't have the prerequisites of shoulder mobility, you're going to have a huge issue. And what I mean by that is if you can't put both arms over your head without other stuff happening, you're going to piss off those shoulders and eventually it's going to bleed down into your lower back as well. We don't want to do that. So the cool thing with the landmine press is that we're going to figure out where your shoulder mobility currently is. And we're going to allow you to train in that range so you can train safely, but while you're still working on your shoulder mobility. This is an excuse. There's no shortcuts. Keep hammering that shoulder mobility. So to figure out where your safe range is, I like to take my left hand and I'm going to put it right in my abdominals. And this just kind of keeps me on so I'm not doing this. Secondly, I like to make sure my head is directly over my body. You don't want to be a turtle head and think like you're getting more shoulder than you actually are. From here, just slowly lift your arm up. Now, if you can get all the way up here, that's pretty good shoulder. Most of us are probably going to be in this range. So this is where I'm going to start to train my landmine press is at this angle. So it's going to look like this, okay? Make sure you check both arms because sometimes we have one good arm and one bad arm. So with my left, boom, if it's a little higher, I can just make a quick little adjustment with where my feet are so I can go train in that range where that range might be a little bit different than what's my right arm doing, all right? So now to get in for the uh, landmine press, I like to grab the end of the barbell, that way I can put load here. So trust me, use smaller load. Don't try to use big 45 pound plates. It doesn't work very well. Use 25s if you're going to add that. And then I like to get a good staggered stance. So once I know where my position is, I take a step back. I can do a little bit of a lean forward. The more forward I lean, the more shoulder mobility required. If I'm here, that's where we were at for that active shoulder flexion test. Brace nice and tight. Load and press up. I like to really think about keeping my elbow inside like where the bar is. I don't want to fan out so it's going to look like this. Keep that guy nice and tight, get here, and then press. And that way, I am pressing in the range that my shoulders can go into safely, and then I can still get all the wonderful benefits of doing overhead press. So to recap, check where your active overhead shoulder flexion is. Train in that range. That way, when you guys get your shoulders back to where they should be, you'll still be able to overhead press just like you were doing previously. So give it a try. Comment below to let me know how it goes. We've got a ton of content coming out weekly for you guys to help you to be strong and be mobile. And if you don't want to miss it, be sure to subscribe and turn on any notifications. We'll see you guys next time.